Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Viz TV. We are turning the tables <laughs> where we are interviewing the interviewer. My name is John Viscardi, and I am the executive director of Viscardi. And today, it is my great pleasure to interview Joan Viscardi, founder and CEO of Viscardi. Why are we doing this? Well, 2023 marks the 20th anniversary of the founding of Viscardi. So these kinds of milestones don't come around very often. And we want to take an opportunity to interview and hear from the person who created Viscardi, who dreamed up this organization and who got it started from that zero to one, um, that, that sometimes hardest part of any organization. We want to hear what you're most proud of and what you've accomplished and all that we are doing and plan on doing at this organization. So Joan, welcome to Viz TV. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. You're welcome. welcome everybody. I, I don't know if I like the tables turn. Um, <laughs> we'll see after the recording how much editing goes in or <laughs> Well, you're you're seasoned at at asking questions, so I'm sure you have plenty of questions that you would ask yourself in this situation. Um, but I've got a couple to get started with. Um, so the the most obvious one after 20 years, what are you proudest of? Well, I think truly, I've been thinking a lot about that lately. It's the people, the people who work at Viscardi. Um, how do you take pride in others? That's an interesting concept. We can talk about that for a very long time. But what I take pride in tremendously is the work environment we've created and our hiring practices. We hire the best people, not just the best people intellectually, but culturally. Um, we all fit. We all fit neatly like a puzzle. And sometimes when we don't, that's even a, good, a better thing that we, we rub each other a little bit the wrong yeah. way. Pieces, <laughs> Keep don't, <it> interesting. <laughs> pieces don't always fit, <laughs> which makes it, I think, really help promote us to think differently. So I would say what I've been the most proud of is the people that I've met along the way. But really and truly, the team we have now after 20 years is exceptional. I can attest to that for sure. And I think that that differing of opinion, the, the diversity of opinions, let's say, it leads to better outcomes where you have people coming in with different viewpoints and different ways of doing something, willing to collaborate, and then you end at a better product all the time. We see that every day. Is it always the quickest way? No, but it's always a pretty quick way, the way we do it. And it leads to really high quality products, I would say. Oh, 100%. I don't think when we started and I started 20 years ago, I was comfortable with that. Not the collaboration. I've always been really comfortable with collaboration. I wasn't comfortable, maybe a difference of opinion on certain things that I really felt I had the knowledge in. And what I've learned in the 20 years is no, knowledge is cumulative. It, it's a group. Mm -hmm. It's not myself. Yeah. And did you think you would be here 20 years ago? Did you think Viscardi would look the way it does today? I think I always think I'll be here. I think I'll be here. <laughs> I think I'll be here 20 years from now, 20 years from then. I, I don't doubt that. <laughs> but did I think Viscardi would look this way? No, not at all. Not at all. We have become really at the top of of the game, let's say. And we've become so regarded in the industry as experts that has taken work, a tremendous mm -hmm. amount of work, mm -hmm. yeah. um, not on my part, but everyone's part. We have become technologically so advanced. I, as you know, personally, didn't know anything about technology. Mm -hmm. Now I, I'm very intrigued and constantly watching other companies so much larger than ourselves crunch data analyze data, talk about data. And that 20 years ago, I didn't think it mattered. Now you're awash in SOC 2 reports, VPNs, 128 versus 256-bit <laughs> encryption. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's me. All those zeros and ones. That yep. I've got them lined up. Yep. They're all they're all me. <laughs> You do, though, and impressively so, I would say. Um, well, I still can't get the calendar right, though. Ah, let's not <laughs> let's not start about the G Suite calendar. Um, so, people being the thing you're most proud of, we we know everyone who tries to do something hard faces challenges, and we've certainly had our fair share of challenges at Biscardi um, that we have fortunately overcome really well at, at every step whenever we've encountered them. But is there one challenge in particular that you would identify as um, the most memorable or the most challenging, um, the most existential risk that we faced at some period of time? What, what was the biggest challenge for you? Well, I think I'm going to I like that you, we didn't prepare any of these questions. I want to thank I want to thank you for that publicly. I'd like to thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I think there's two. Uh, everyone would have to say COVID. I think anyone who is in business now, whether you're a small, medium, or large corporation, COVID put a spin on everything. Talk about existential. Yeah. Wow. Not just the space. But the mental space, you know, wasn't just physically as a company, how are we going to run? How are we going to not change staffing? How mm -hmm. are we going to provide a product that actually is based on injured workers? People mm -hmm. weren't working. So you take an industry like ours, here you, have, I at the top wanted to maintain all staffing. We didn't lose anybody at Viscardi during COVID. Yep. Um, how do we do that financially? We're proud of that. How do we plan that? Mm -hmm. And then how do we change people to remote? Well, for us, it was pretty easy. We had yeah. been hybrid already. We had had all the tools in place. So I think that was easy. But then it became, especially from a perspective of medical, being a medical professional myself, how do we maintain mental well-being? Mm -hmm. That was a challenge. Yeah. Um, but it also changed our focus. It changed our focus a lot especially for this TV on mental health. Mm -hmm. How do we promote, encourage other companies? We delved really deeply yep. in what companies do in mental health. Yeah. The next thing has to be, I think from a corporate perspective, you mentioned SOC 2 earlier, is cybersecurity. Mm. Nowhere in the 20 years did I think 20 years later that one of the biggest challenges would be to stay way ahead of the curve mm. on cybersecurity. We've done a really great job, knock on wood, wherever it is, um, of doing that. But that takes a constant ongoing effort and being ahead of what's out there. Yeah. So I would say those two have been the biggest challenges. Yeah, those those are legit, legitimate challenges. I, I One other one that comes to mind that I would add, um, when we started, when we made this, the decision about 10 years ago to really grow Viscardi, it takes, it costs money. It takes capital resources to grow an organization, investments of dollars that you won't see for a while. And managing cash flow at those beginning stages of growth 10 years ago, that was a major challenge. And one thing that I really admired about your leadership at that time was it wasn't maybe it was eight years ago or somewhere around there where we had to make some real big people investments knowing what we were building towards um there it would have been easy to cut costs on compensation in a couple of places and you didn't do it you we figured out how to cut costs elsewhere Mm -hmm. um, but you really have always prioritized fair compensation for everyone at Viscardi. And I think when you look at the employee retention that Viscardi experiences and employee satisfaction, um, that's just one small piece of what leads to those things. But figuring out how to navigate cash flow challenges at that time while staying true to our values, I think that was something we did well that you led really well and something to be proud of. 
Thank you. I, I would agree with that. I think my philosophy prior to being a business owner and prior to Biscardi, I had another business. Um, it's to work hard and play hard all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not, you have, in my opinion, you have to run parallel. Yeah. You have to work, you have to play, but not just me. I cannot have people work in a company that I manage who don't have the right to play hard also. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as I think about the past, it brings my mind up to the future, um, up and towards the future. So where, where do you see yourself and Viscardi headed in these next five years, 10 years, 20 years? Where do you see, where do you see us in 2043? I see a large investment in hair coloring products. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, thicker glasses. <laughs> Where do I see us? Um, I hopefully see us in the same realm of great people, a great product that stays consistent. I don't always think it's about building a better product. Mm. I think it's really more about providing consistent product. Yes. That's professional. When I think about other services, I'm always tweaked by services. I'm always tweaked by the interest of um, like when we did the NRXCM program, mm -hmm. like what can be trademarked, what can be not for the purpose of trademarking, but it really helps the company personnel to sit down together and say what can we build that's different mm -hmm. what can we do that's different so i see that ongoing um, i see the company playing harder and working harder and i think that will keep us um, happy all along it's cultural for me mm -hmm. yes now it's always cultural uh, you know so does everyone in the office i love to play games i think if you can't throw games into work there's no purpose in working. <laughs> and as anybody knows who works at Viscardi, we, we definitely play lots of company games. Um, the, Mar the March Madness ending right now, which I won, by the way. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> congratulations. Uh, thank you. Um, well, I'm a big fan of Guy Raz's podcast, How I Built This. And at the end, he always asks, was it luck or hard work? that led to your success? It was hard work. Ah, uh, you're hard. in the hard work camp, huh? It's hard work. The luck, maybe it's the luck and the wonderful people I've met along the way. I mm. can name them, which I can't. It would be unfair to those I can't name. <laughs> and the what list is, is endless from the time I began, let's say 20 years ago, the people that I've met at the carrier offices, third party administrator offices, legal counsels, um, you name it, provider offices, and most importantly, claimants, patients, all those people. Do I, do I say that's luck? I don't know. I put myself in the position to be there and I opened myself up to listen. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I call that luck. <laughs> okay, think, hard work. I think, I think it's hard work to listen yeah. and really hear what people say. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's where I don't take a minute, you know, off. Yeah. That's the hard work. Well, at Viscardi, we have definitely worked very hard to hone what it is that we do to figure out how to make ourselves different, special, uniquely valuable to our customers, to the workers' compensation industry. And one of those ways was, and it can, still is, a real focus and mastery on New York State. So as we look towards the future, we have some really exciting things to look forward to on Viz TV, And I think we should tease a little bit of what our viewers can expect for Viz TV season three uh, and that New York state focus of our work. 
Anything you want to say about that? Well, it's interesting when you when you progress over 20 years and you go in and out of trajectories and creating in my in my mind it's a book it's a story they each have chapters and some chapters were do we focus on the mid-atlantic region do we focus on the eastern seaboard and we always come back to yes we're very good at it i would say we're almost experts in many but there's nobody like us in new york mm -hmm. we really have worked hard to run alongside the New York State Workers' Com Compensation Board and kind of stay ahead of them where possible. I give kudos out to them now. Um, they have become technologically very advanced with the PAR system, with e-case. The standards of care are exceptional. Um, and I think now the joy is in understanding it all and being ahead of their curve mm -hmm. is now to look at who we could talk to. Mm -hmm. Who is doing that work? Mm -hmm. Who is interested in that work? Where is New York going? You know, we are very progressive. We often compete with California. Sorry, California. But I think New, <laughs> New York is moving ahead. Um, and I'd like to talk about that. Yeah. I'd like to really kind of go back to go forward. Mm, so we can expect some history in season three of New York. Definitely. And some present day information definitely yeah. cool well that's going to be a lot of fun yeah and it might be nice you know this time to really interview the providers who provide the care the attorneys who represent oh yeah claimants and carriers and the, maybe some claimants you know that's a, that, that's a multi-dimensional conversation i really like exactly. that idea exactly and, and we do say at viscardi that we're kind of like the air traffic controllers of workers comp um, in the role that we play. Uh, so serving as the connector in that way for that conversation, that could be very exciting. Definitely. Definitely. I look forward to it. Well, I want to say how grateful I am for all of the hard work that you have put in to build this guardian to what it is today. Um, I've learned so much from you over all of these years working alongside you to build this guardian. And I'm very proud of what we've accomplished. So thank you on behalf yeah. of me and everyone at Viscardi for having this vision and for rolling up your sleeves and getting it done through thick and thin. Thank you. Thank you very much. It takes a village, John. Yes. Well, <laughs> certainly lots to celebrate at this 20 year mark. So oh, yeah, so much. Celebration we've got a lot of celebration going on yes. this year at Viscardi. Yeah, cue the fireworks the CGI fireworks, <laughs> see if we can get that in.